of the Lord in a strange land. I will not be in a strange land. I declare in the name of Jesus that my joy shall be made full. My joy shall be made full. My joy shall be solid. My joy shall be made full. Nothing shall block my joy. I shall not be sad. I block bad news from coming to me. I stop every bad news from coming to me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bible says in the book of Job, and if you read from verse number one, the Bible says that bad news can come and destroy your day. Now look at look look at look at verse thirteen, chapter one, verse thirteen. It says one day when Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, a messenger came to Job and said. The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby and the sunbans and the sunbeams attacked and made off with them. They put their servant to sword and I am the only one who escaped to tell you. Now watch it here. Job and his family were having a feast. They were making merry. Bible says they were drinking and they were feasting, merry making. You are so happy. You are joyful. Your children are growing. Every sign of good health is there. But all of a sudden, a messenger will come with the bad news. I came to tell somebody this week, I block bad news from your way. Oh, you didn't hear me. Ha <laughs> ha sante. This week, I block every bad news that is coming my way. Bible says that the messenger say, I am the only survivor to bring to you the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what I'm talking about. There are people that have been prepared to bring you bad news. That in the midst of your happiness, Bible says that even when he came to Job and his children, if you read verse 2, he says he has seven sons and he has three daughters. He, he has so much. Job had so much to the stand that even when the children are having party, Job will go and sacrifice to God because they might have sinned. Now watch it in verse 4. He said his sons used to hold feasts in his in, in their homes and on their birthdays. And oh, you didn't you didn't see Bible. I, I looking at the Bible, Bible. If the Bible is yours, look at it, verse 4. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 4. Birthday parties are celebrated in the Bible. Never let somebody deceive you that it is a sin to celebrate your day of birth. Now watch it here. In the book of Job, chapter 1, and verse number 4, Bible says that his sons used to hold feasts in their homes on their birthdays and they will invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them when they finish this party job will sacrifice to god that in the midst of my children they might have sinned against you so having your birthday party is not a bad thing today is the birthday of one of the big women in the land auntie adelaide adelaide auntie adi auntie adi today is your birthday I declare over your life wherever you are that you will not have bad news on your day of joy. If you remember the day you delivered your child, yesterday was the birthday of Sammy. It was the birthday of the press, the birthday of the president's son. And anytime people are celebrating the birthday of their children, one of the things I don't forget is they also have to be celebrated on their delivery day. This morning, I don't know who is keeping you to have bad news constantly in your life. Bible says that in the book of Job chapter 1 and when you read directly from verse number 13 Bible says one day when Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house drinking wine making merry and jumping and playing songs thanking God for a new day thanking God for his prosperity bad news will come. This morning you want to pray with say in the name of Jesus as I lift up my voice and I pray, I declare that in this day that I am standing at the gate of the week, I block every bad news. Mm. I block every bad news. Every bad news that will come to me. Bad news concerning my health. Bad news concerning my finances. Bad news concerning my business. Bad news concerning my wife. Bad news concerning my children. Bad news concerning where I was. Somebody will be terminated. I see a letter of sack right now. I, as I speak to you, I see a letter typed. I see a letter typed. I see a letter typed. 
that somebody's appointment has been terminated. You are you you your appointment as I don't know whose appointment has been terminated. I declare in the name of Jesus. Anybody watching me right now, that a letter has been written to be handed over to you to change to remove you from where you are sitting. Do, your your daily bread is coming to an end. The Lord is going to promote you in a new place. But I see a letter of sack that is lying. It has been typed, was not signed. So it is part of a document lying that to be signed. I declare that may the will of God come to pass for you. You shall not hear bad news. You shall not hear bad news. I see a package of letters that has been written. And there is a letter in it that is a letter of termination and relief from position. I see relief from position. Relief from position. Whoever is thinking that your bad news of removing you from your position will cause you to be sad. I really bring you back into position. If it is the will of God for you to be moved from that place, may his will come to pass. But it is a bad news that is coming to make you sad, to make you wail, to make you become weak and not be able to rejoice like the Bible say. I stop it now in the name of Jesus. Every bad news that is coming from Europe. I hear somebody holding the address and screaming what happened. Every death announcement that is coming from UK. I see somebody announcement from UK and the person is holding his stomach with a mobile phone. A text message just dropped on somebody's phone in another country and it is coming from a UK number plus four. That an announcement came for the death of somebody they least expect to die. I bring life back to every dying situation of your life. Every form of attack that will bring you sadness this morning. I see a car that is just parked at the shoulders of the road. The person is getting down to buy. I don't know what you are going to buy. But all of a sudden, your door that you opened was crashed by another car. I declare that, Lord, may you exempt my people from such accident. I pray that it will never happen. They shall end the month of August with your recovery. I pray that, Lord, whatever your word is this morning, bring us joy. No bad news. 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 I block every bad news. Bible says that in the book of Job chapter 1 and verse number 14, and when you read from verse 13, it says when they were having party and they were having joy, the devil doesn't want to see you smile. He doesn't want to see you jumping. This morning, I declare every bad news announcer, they will not find you in the name of Jesus. They will not find you in the name of Jesus. They will not find you in the name of Jesus. They will not find you in the name of Jesus. You shall not be located with bad news. Every bad news that is coming to your place, I block it off. I block it off. As you walk through this week, you will not find yourself with any form of bad news. You will not find yourself with any form of bad news. I see a red band. I see a red band tied at the gates, two metal gates, but they've tied red at the place, red at the place, red at the place. I don't know, I don't know, red, I see a flat. I see like not flat with a lot of people's built, uh, rooms in it. And I see the entrance has been tied. I declare whoever is living in any flat, in any flat, in any apartment, that death is going to occur. I say bad news will not come to where you live. I rebuke bad news from your place. Whoever is going to attack you, that will bring you bad news. We attack them back. We send it back to the sender. Everywhere bad news is coming from, from your mother's side, from your father's side, from your mother's wife, mother's side from your wife's father's side, from your children's school, wherever bad news is coming from, I declare that it will not come near your dwelling. You will never be sad. You will rejoice. The Bible says rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Rejoice and pray without ceasing. I will not get to a point where I can't lift my voice and pray. I declare this week that as I walk through the week, Lord, I shall survive the terrain, the second, the minute, the every hour. I declare that every hour my announcement shall be cleared. As I walk through this week, I shall have an encounter with the good news. The best news is happening to me. The best news is coming to me. The best news is coming to me. Now, 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 now. I declare in the name of Jesus, good news shall come my 